A roll here in the last 60 seconds. Mears moving in. Shot and a glove save by Baba. Flash in the left hand. The sideboards kicks it to himself. He'll take it. Shot save. Rebound. Put home. Here is Connor. To the near side. Gonna go to a backhand. Matusa kicked it away. Chopped at by Haas. And Matusa grabbed it again and kept it out. Oh, nice pass by Norcutt under pressure. Mills fights it off. Shot. Score. Now he's on a scorebook. Matt hooks him a little give and go here. Lee backhander into the chest and a rebound. He scores! Settle it down. He's got a check by Cooper. But here's a oh! shot deflected by Kramer and in! Wow! That's a stick and a glove, but that was the same person. It was Diffley, who then runs into his teammate Salona. Up against the oh, boards and a shot save. comes out front and moves. United. Oh, here's a shot thrown on net by Berg. Play by Ralston. He's supposed to push himself off too. And oh, it came oh. from the point! And Plotsman got it by Ralston. Oh, turns on the Jets by Rikowski, by Pascal, who dies. But it's not for good as it's back. And he's off to the races. He's by everybody. Rosenberg trying to catch up. Mather shoots, and it's off the goaltender and off the crossbar. First point of the season. Didn't get on the score sheet last week, but Burbank off the face off a shot of save by Vernon. Camarano is hit by Plotsman, but there's oh. Elkin. Oh, that in the last game. Remember who did it, but there's a shot out front. McCart takes the pass from Reed and score. There is Grant Marhoff moving in with Josh Daniel, and oh, this one gets by Newberry and went off his leg and in. Reed using his speed, gets by everybody, goes to a backhand, he scores! Play. There's Norcutt moving in, backhand, try, where to go, oh. he's going to rebound! Lost it, throw around the defender, in by himself on Vernon, and a kick save! It's control, Haas has it, fires a shot, he scores! Carton pulls it away. Out front, Curran to the forehand, and a rebound, they score! There's Dietz, moving in. And he wraps around Newberry and scores! Another hit here, Mather knocked down Desmond, that's Spring Stanovich, who fires one on a kick save by Baba. Break, two on none, Norcutt and Kramer. Norcutt with a pass, a shot on a save by Newberry! Side of an end by Austin Marker. A wrapper on Trey, score! Here's Penn, getting around on Azuka, moving in, it's in the crease, and it's... Five gone by, turn over up front and hit the post! Yeah, also camp up front, shot and a glove save by Ralston. Near side boards, but came away with a puck anyway. Matusic save, rebound up front, and putting it home is Wolivar. In the three stars list, uh-oh. Desmond, he's in by himself, to the forehead! This is the Anaheim Ducks High School Hockey League Report on ADHSHL.com and Black Dog Enterprises. Hey everybody, Eric Pesolano here from SportsNetUSA.net as we take a look back at the Week 12 action in the Anaheim Ducks High School Hockey League. We begin from Friday night where Long Beach Prep took on Edison at the Varsity 2A level. Final score here, Long Beach Prep 3, Edison 2. The Chargers tried to make a comeback in this one late, but a Jack Lee hat trick for Long Beach Prep ended up being the difference in this one. Goaltender Ishmael Ralston for Long Beach stopped 30 of 32 shots in the game. He got the victory. On the other side, Cole Pavlik, Cameron Platzman had a goal apiece for the Chargers. Friday night also saw a varsity 1A game between Orange Lutheran and Servite. Although this one did not come down to the end. The Lancers demolished the Friars 10-1 here. Riley Kramer had a hat trick. Brody Norcutt had a goal and four. Four assists in the win for the Lancers. On the other side for Servite, Jake Long had a power play goal. For the Friars in the game, 14 shots on goal. Lancers played great defense and even better offense in this one. Moving on to Saturday, we see the Edison Chargers again. Another varsity 2A game to start off the Saturday morning. Los Alamitos, though, took them down 3-2 in overtime with Jason Epperly getting the game-winning goal. Corey Castellanos added a goal as well for the Griffins. On the other side for the Chargers, Tanner Osterkamp had a goal. Cameron Platzman had a shorthanded goal as well. That one came with 5.36 left to tie the game up. But again, the Griffins get it done in OT. Second game on Saturday saw Corona Norco take down Villa Park 7-4. Eric Anderson had two goals and an assist for the Stingrays, while Ryan Romans had a goal and an assist as well. On the other side for Villa Park, Taylor Urch had a goal and an assist. And in the third period, the Spartans only put the puck on net four times as the Stingrays were able to attack and use their offense as their best defense in that third period. The final varsity 2A game of the weekend saw Capistrano United take down Corona Del Mar 7-3. 
Cameron McCartan had two goals and an assist for the Coyotes, while Connor Reed added two goals. Strom Ossenmacher on the other side for the Ice Kings had a goal and two assists. Shots on goal in this game, Capistrano United 41, Corona Del Mar 18, as Capistrano United continues their tear on the Varsity 2A division. At the Varsity 1A division, to wrap up the first half of the season, we saw Jay Serra take on Santa Margarita. 2-1 the final score here, and guess what? The Lions got the Eagles again. Zeke Estrada had both goals for the Lions, getting the game winner in overtime at the 4.23 mark, so that would be with 37 seconds left. Blue yellow slams on the brakes, falls down, it comes to Estrada, he scores! The Jay Serra Lions have done it again! For the second time in three games this regular season, the Lions have beaten Santa Margarita. Nick Valdez stopped 22 of 23 Santa Margarita shots, while Jay Serra held Santa Margarita to 0 for 5 on the man advantage. Lions also only put the puck on net once in the first period and once in the third period, but they matched that total in overtime, putting the puck on net twice and getting the game winner again from Estrada. On the other side for Santa Margarita, Brian Desmond tied the game with 2.13 left in regulation to send it to an extra session. For the Lions now, they've won two of their last three against Santa Margarita, and the next time they'll see the Eagles, on February 22nd, the last day of the regular season. As we take a look at the standings going into the Thanksgiving break, we look at the Varsity 1A division with Santa Margarita still leading the way with 18 points. Jay Serra has 14, they're moving on up. So is Orange Lutheran. They have 13 points, with Bellarmine at 9 and Servite at 3. At the Varsity 2A division, Capistrano United has 24 points, while Los Alamitos has 23. Capistrano United is 8-0 so far in regulation, while the Griffins are 7-0 in regulation, but they do have a win in a shootout, which is worth one less point. Corona Norco and Huntington Beach have 13 points apiece, while Damian is hanging around with 10. As this has been the Anaheim Ducks High School Hockey League Report on ADHSHL.com and Black Dog Enterprises. We'll see you next time, everybody. Bye-bye.